Hey friends, welcome back to Storytime with Britt. It is almost Thanksgiving. Are you ready to eat some turkey? I am, for sure. I have a Thanksgiving book for you today. It's called Twas the Night Before Thanksgiving. The author is Dav Pilkey. Let's get started. "'Twas the day before Thanksgiving, and all through the trees the fall leaves were spinning aloft in the breeze. Eight children had boarded their school bus with grins, in hopes that a field trip soon would begin." Have you ever been on a field trip? Oh, they're so much fun. They sang as they rode through the autumn terrains while visions of drumsticks danced in their brains. Over rivers, through woods, with winding and weaves, their school bus sailed on through the new fallen leaves. When out on the road, there arose such a clatter, they threw down the windows to see what was the matter. When what with their wondering eyes should they see but a miniature farm and eight tiny turkey? And a little old man so lively and rugged, they knew in a moment it was Farmer McNugget. He was dressed all in denim from his head to his toe with a pinch of polyester and a dash of Velcro. And then in a twinkling, they heard in the straw the prancing and pawing of each little claw. More rapid than chickens, his cockerels they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Look at all those turkeys. Oh my goodness. Now Ollie, now Stanley, now Larry and Moe. On Wally and Beaver and Shemp and Groucho. The turkeys were chunky with smiley beaked faces and they greeted the children with downy embraces. So out through the barnyard, they ran and they flew and they gobbled and giggled as friends sometimes do. That was so fun. Can you imagine going to a farm and getting to play with all the turkeys? I don't know if turkeys are nice, are they? I don't know. Then somebody spotted an ax by the door and she asked Farmer McNugget, what was it for? With a blink of his eye and a twist of his head, the old farmer told a grim tale of dread. Uh-oh. There's the axe, she's holding the axe that she found. Mm. We're gonna have to see what happens now. Tonight, said McNugget, these feathery beasts will be chopped up and roasted for Thanksgiving feast. The children stood still as tears filled their eyes. Then they clamored aloud in a chorus of cries. Oh my goodness, oh no, what's gonna happen? I think the turkeys are dinner. Oh dear, cried McNugget, now what shall I do? So he dashed to the well and the teacher went too and they fetched some water fresh from the ground in hopes that a swig might calm everybody down. What do you think? You think a drink of water is gonna calm them down? And when they returned to quiet the matter, the children were calmer and mysteriously fatter. The boys and girls drank up their drinks in the hay, then thanked old McNugget and waddled away. Okay, look at this picture. What did they do? Oh my goodness. Can you see all these kids? They did get fatter. Why? What did they do? They limped to the school bus all huffing and puffing it's not easy to walk with a hot turkey stuffing. And then as the school bus drove off in the night, McNugget looked around, not a turkey in sight. Oh my gosh. I know why there's no turkeys left. 
Twas the night before Thanksgiving, and the stars up above shone down on a school bus abounding with love. The very next evening, eight families were blessed with eight fluffy Thanksgiving turkeys as guests. They feasted on veggies with jelly and toast, and everyone was thankful. The turkeys, the most. So it says that the turkeys were at dinner, but that they were guests. So that means that they weren't the meal. And if you look really closely, you can see the shadow of the turkeys sitting at the dinner table. Do you see them? So each one gave thanks for love and for living, and they all had a wonderful, happy Thanksgiving. I love that story. It is so adorable. I love to eat turkeys, so now I kind of feel bad. I hope that you guys are excited for Thanksgiving and that you spend it with people that you love. Please come back and see me soon. Bye, friends.